research and discovery. Futurists. It's a hot summer night and there's another forest fire in Greece. This one has already burnt out 1,000 hectares of a Mediterranean forest some 80 kilometres north of Athens. 500 firefighters and volunteers have been fighting the flames for nearly 20 hours. Thanks to their efforts, the fire has been brought under control, but it's far from out. In the midst of all the haste and the chaos, there's a German engineer with a strange flying robot. With this system, in a few minutes, we can reach a height of 100 to 150 meters and survey the whole location. With this system, we can locate the worst of the blaze and also where the emergency services are. If they're in the vicinity, we can decide how to direct them straight to the spot. The flying robot is called a micro drone. Its sophisticated cameras allow it to see from above, where humans can't always see, to the very heart of the forest fire. It can in this way give valuable information to the firefighters, helping them to better carry out their dangerous task. During the night, planes and helicopters are forbidden to fly over forest fires. So this machine is another way to help us manage the situation. The robot can see where our firefighters can't go, for example, on the other side of a burning slope, as is the case tonight. It can give us a quick glimpse of what's happening at the very heart of the fire, so we can decide on the best options. The microdrone is the result of a European research project aimed at providing a flying tool to help manage a crisis situation from above. Today, its developer is unveiling its secrets to firefighters near Athens. It weighs less than one and a half kilograms. It can fly alone for up to around an hour, and it can carry around 200 grams of material. See, I with four motors. It works with four motors, two that turn to the left and two that turn to the right. This makes it very stable in the air. It's well equipped electronically to make the job of flying or controlling it easier. At the same time, it positions itself using its GPS. Detecting forest fires is just one of its possible uses. Developers think it could help manage urban riots and natural disasters like floods as well. But before all of these applications can become reality, there are some technical challenges to overcome. The technical challenge that we face is to redress some of the failures of the GPS system on the drone, so we can make it work where at the moment it won't. For example, when we're too close to an obstacle, the drone can't position itself and it begins behaving erratically and making mistakes. The danger here is that we could lose the machine or, or damage it. In the future, what could be interesting is to give these machines more autonomy or self-sufficiency so that their operators can concentrate on what they have to do and forget the technical problems and the complexity. That's why computer scientists like German Chamrong Yuan are developing what they call environment sensing tools. Sophisticated algorithmic calculations allow the drone to identify moving or stationary obstacles below, all by itself. You see the back points, that's the static obstacles, and the red points show how the people is moving in the scene. So it is for 
the purpose of obstacle avoidance. During the navigation, it is uh, more difficult to identify the moving obstacles because um, they firstly they are um, moving and the camera is also moving, so we need to differentiate the two. In Paris, at the headquarters of robotics of the French Atomic Energy Commission, or CEA, researchers are working on developing systems to increase the autonomy or self-sufficiency of the drone. The final aim is to develop a kind of autopilot for the micro-drones. We're going to teach the drone a trajectory. To do this, it utilizes a camera that faces the floor to memorize the route. For the return, it's learnt its way. Now I don't operate the drone anymore. It automatically uses the information that was programmed in when it went in the opposite direction and returns automatically to its departure point. So the objective is to relieve the operator of the task of piloting the robot. Instead, he can concentrate on observing what's happening. Scientists have also developed virtual reality scenarios that will allow the micro-drone to better prepare its work. Software can simulate different flying conditions, including very windy weather or difficult geographic surroundings, to see how the drone copes in real time. Here we can see what the drone sees with its camera, so we can find out, comparing it with the course programmed in before, if the drone is going to be able to see the zones that interest us. This lets us check that what we pre-programmed is going to be really carried out by the drone, all in simulation mode. Far from the simulations, forest fires are a deadly reality every summer in Greece and other Mediterranean countries. And firefighters and volunteers eagerly welcome any extra reliable assistance. I hope that these cameras above us will help us understand what we're going to face near the fire so we can be better prepared. Our job is really difficult and dangerous. During the day we get burned, during the night we can break our legs. So the extra help is very welcome.